Max, you're up first. Give me your top AFC sleeper team because I think you, you mentioned it, Harry. The AFC's gotten a lot better. It's actually the Chargers. I think the Chargers, because I, I can't say the Patriots anymore because they're not getting slept on anymore. I said that a couple weeks ago. I didn't hear a lot of people saying it. Now everyone's saying it. I won't say the Dolphins. I think it's the same thing. It's very Tua dependent. If Tua's good, Dolphins are going to be really good. But the Chargers, mm -hmm. the Chargers could win double digits You're this so right. season. The Chargers had one of the worst coaches in the NFL last year. Just look at the results. Um, they switched that up. They have a guy who seems to know something about defense right now. Um, they built up their offensive line. They had among the worst offensive lines in the NFL last year. And, you know, we could go on about skills, positions, and this and that. They have a quarterback who's different. The Chargers quarterback is different. You know, there are two different kinds of quarterbacks. You know, uh, apologies to Josh Allen and some other very, very good quarterbacks. I'm talking about different. That's Patrick Mahomes and Aaron Rodgers. And I'm not saying Justin Herbert will be one of those guys. Sorry. Yeah, Justin Herbert will be one of those guys. But I think he's going to – I don't think anyone else will be in his category either. Like, he might be three out of those – third out of those three. And when you have a quarterback like that, uh, who just had arguably the greatest rookie season ever, I mean, it's on a short list in the history of the NFL at quarterback with a team like the Chargers, who has a lot of weapons, and, and looks like they've improved – I got to say we're sleeping on them. This could be a double-digit win team, especially in a 17-game schedule season. Molly, I, I'll go in the same division, the AFC West, but I'm going to go with the Denver Broncos. When I look at the Denver okay. Broncos, their defense is stacked, right? They have a Super Bowl defense right now. When I looked at their schedule, these, this team lost six games by a total of 24 points. You want to know the only knock on this team is, Max and Swagu? The quarterback position, Drew Locke. That's why I'm glad they brought Teddy Bridgewater in to compete for this job to see if he can get this team afloat. When you look at the Denver Broncos, they have players all over the place, offensively, defensively. Now they just got to get it together at the quarterback position. And that's a position that the Denver Broncos has not hit on, <coughs> I say, for the last, what, seven, eight years. That's, what, that's what's missing. Last year, I didn't believe in Drew Locke because there was a lot of times out there in that football field when I watched film on Drew Locke, he's not going where the coverage is telling him to go with the football, right? So – I see a tight end get they upset. haven't been able to develop a quarterback in Denver. Age-old story. I see a wide receiver getting upset. But if they can fix the quarterback position, I think the Denver Broncos can have an opportunity. They're going to fix it next year with Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. And that was the talk well, this well, well, best of Aaron luck. Rodgers go there, well, best the of luck Broncos to him. are a contender. Well, best of luck to them because, damn it, they ain't fixing it with Teddy Bridgewater and Drew Locke. Listen, the sleeper in the AFC, <laughs> who everybody disrespecting is the Pittsburgh Steelers. I don't understand why the Steelers are a team that's going to be left for dead. Big Ben ain't done, obviously, when we look at him play in this preseason, but also his understanding. I want to see more Matt Canada's offense develop. I like Big Ben being under center a little bit more. Najee was a pickup. I do believe this offensive line is going to be better because I give Mike Tomlin benefit of the doubt. The coach that went 8-8 eight eight with damn Mason Rudolph starting that quarterback and Doug Hodges. And then when we start talking about teams that have a history of being really good in despite of things that are happening around them, the Pittsburgh still are squarely in the center of that. And not to mention, this defense might be the number one defense when it's all said done in the league, or they'll be in that conversation with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and everybody else that's up there top tier. Denver, Don't Washington. sleep on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Love Cleveland. Love Baltimore. The Pittsburgh no, Steelers fair. will not go silently into the night, and Ben Roethlisberger is not done. He's good enough to be supported by a good team to make noise in the NFL. It ain't the damn Denver Broncos, and the Chargers ain't no sleeper because the Chargers are going to be really good under Staley. And listen, the dribble about oh, Justin Hurts, <laughs> who I sleep. think is, 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 is a smiling somewhere, as Mark. hell. Hold on. Is, I'm not allowed to take the hell. Chargers, but you Josh take 12 Allen wins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They won 12 games last well, that's, year. That's fair, Max. You're right. And Brandon Staley Max, was excellent. you listened to everything Peoples and said about the Steelers? All right. So I'm the only one who picked a sleeper. 